Hello, what is up YouTube? Steam Sparks here, and you cannot see me. Or really anything. Because you're on my home screen. So yeah, you guys are on my Android phone. <clears throat> this will be the device that I had previously showed in my uh, previous upload, which will be posted at some point, because I don't know when this will actually be uploaded. But yeah. So you guys are being recorded with a screencast app. Um, this is solely Android based. There's no computer involved at all that you need to record, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can see recording up top here. I don't know. I don't really want to press it, but you're up here. Screencast. Very neat little app. This is the cracked version of the app, unfortunately, because yeah, people use cracked stuff when they don't have money. So yeah. I just want to show you guys a little overview of the phone pretty much and showing off the screen capture performance abilities of the uh, MyTouch Q. I'm running Android 4.0.4, it's the Cyanogen Mod 9. <clears throat> I will show you guys that in a second, as soon as I find it. That would be lovely if I can find it. <clears throat> okay, about phone. There we go. Cyanogen Mod 9, Android 4.0.4, .4, LG C800, which is the T-Mobile Mod Touch Q. Uh, it's got ARM V7. This is running at 1.52 GHz overclocked. Running the nightly C800 Cyanogen Mod 9. Um, yeah, this is the latest build. Uh, I don't remember when. It was released sometime in 2013, I think. I'm not even too sure. Um... Yeah, so as a performance, uh, like I said, uh, it's overclocked to 1.52 gigahertz or 1520 megahertz. Uh, CPU limiter has been uh, increased to 1200 megahertz uh, as opposed to the stock clock speed on this phone is a uh, 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon. It's single core. Um, really, really, really wish they would have came out with the uh, dual core uh, version for this phone. Also, this phone does still uh, support uh, Adobe Flash, which you can see here is the SWF player. No, I didn't want to press and hold it, but I did anyway. So yeah, it does still support Flash, um, or Adobe Flash. Um, as uh, many of you guys probably know, they removed support for that in uh, the newer updates uh, for Android, which is 4.1 and above. So anything below 4.1 will still support it. And luckily enough, this is a... Uh, lower version of Android 4, which it being 4.0.4, um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it, so you guys got a nice little tour overview of my actual phone, and hopefully the video will come out good, the resolution probably will not be very good, this phone has a stock resolution of like 480 by 320 so if it's pixelated and such, it's probably because of just that, it, this phone just has a very low resolution screen, so Therefore, it will record at that resolution. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And if you didn't, I'm very sorry, and you should go somewhere else. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Thanks for all your support throughout the years, and I hope you...